Cancers. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. So I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, for my newbies, I always go for my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you, okay? So, excuse me, just ate before this video. Um, so it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment could be experiencing or someone you're energetically attached to, okay? And it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. Then we're gonna do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we're gonna go ahead and do the tarot reading. Sorry, I bit my tongue as I was talking. I was like, oh, ow. Anyway, cancer. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I picked up some interesting things. I did have a couple channelings come in that were like a little random, but I got them for you. So some of y'all need to hear this. Um, if you've been struggling with fiber, or in trying to include that in your diet, try uh, nopales or cactus. It's very fibrous. It's very good for you. So me actually could just be eating that. Like they showed it to me and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, can cancer needs some cactus, okay? Um, also, cancer, I did hear the word talisman. That was actually the first word I heard. I do feel that you kind of need some extra protection right now. And especially with what I picked up on later in the meditative session. But some of you could just have a talisman or just be feeling like, you kind of need something. Uh, if you have something that's like a family item, I would definitely go with that first, first and foremost, but just let it call to you, let it speak to you. But definitely might, you might want to start looking for a talisman of sorts, okay? Cancer, the next thing I got, I heard pirate. Maybe you want to be a pirate for Halloween. I don't think that's what it is though. Um, and then I heard hijacking, okay? Um, and then I heard rabid dog. So cancer, I just heard Pisces. Cancer. Someone feels, I do feel like it's you, it could be someone else within your environment, keep that in mind, but I definitely feel an energy of someone feels like they're, um, some, let's say it's you feeling this, let's say it's you feeling this, you feel like something's getting hijacked of yours, okay, something that you feel is yours, that you have every right to, and every entitlement to, and it's like, who the fuck is hijacking my opportunity, who's hijacking my person, who's hijacking my money, who's stealing from me, essentially, who's stealing from me. You feel like someone is someone is taking something that rightfully belongs to you, rightfully you own, okay? It's yours, Cancer, and you're pissed like a rabid dog. Um, whoever feels like they're losing something that they feel entitled to is about to turn into a little rabid dog here, okay? And Cancers, you know, you could also be witnessing this in your family or in your close uh, social network as well because Cancers, like, when it comes to, like, people in your environment or people that you love and care about, when they start getting fucked with, you lose your shit. Like, <laughs> Cancers will lose their shit so fast when they see someone they care about getting messed with, okay? Hold on, let me get some water. <clears throat> mm. Cancer. But I did hear that. Pirate hijacking and rabid dog and the rabid dog looked mean not like Cujo because Cujo like poor Cujo I mean I guess technically Cujo is a rabid dog but not like it not anything like that like to that extreme but de definitely like almost like there's no reasoning with okay someone's about to fly off the handle here cancer and if you feel like someone is like hijacking or pirating something of yours that you feel you have every right to or you know who knows maybe it's actually something you made maybe it's something you invented you know I don't, I don't know um then you're about to lose your shit, okay? Keep in mind, it could be someone within your environment feeling like something's getting taken from them. They're about to lose their shit, okay? So let's go ahead and get the cards all calibrated. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Okay, that feels good. Oh! Wow. <laughs> wow. Page of Pentacles, and does that not look like she's putting something in her purse? <laughs> A Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, could also be Aries or Leo. Oh my. Oh my. This is definitely taking quick action on this issue. 
definitely taking quick action on this issue. This could also be someone trying to go go and make an offer about something, but I can't get off of that hijacking energy and look, she's like literally stuffing something in her purse. Like literally stuffing something in her purse and like heading heading the hell out of Dodge, okay? Oh, Ace of Swords on the bottom, by the way. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Ooh, Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh my. Oh my. Um, Getting a couple things here. Uh, cancer, you or someone you're connected to could be rushing in with an offer, um, an offer that seemed, has, has seemed lost here. I keep getting this energy of taken though. I keep getting like snatched up, snatched up and taken. Like someone is stealing an ace of cups. What the hell? What is someone stealing an ace of cups? Oh, spirit, you're so funny. <laughs> Cancer, you or someone you're connected to might be trying to steal someone's heart, quite literally. Not like, well, shit, I just realized how that sounded. Not literally, but met metaphorically. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, I, yeah, I keep getting like taken, snatched up, claimed up, claimed up here. Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer. But someone's mad though. I can feel it. I feel like it's someone off in the wings too. Like, keeping an eye on the situation keeping an eye on the situation not happy with how things are panning out please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for cancer sun moon rising venus and jupiter october 12th to the 21st yeah, that's how this yeah that's how this feels like someone's stealing an ace of cups or stealing someone's heart if you're taking hearts i mean obviously you're doing that shit on the black market i don't want to know about it okay Ooh, death, scorpionic energy here. I oh, I feel like a sudden stop. Give me a little Scorpio, but not necessarily. Um, I don't know. Like yeah, like sudden stop, sudden stop. Ugh, is this the person who's pissed? This is interesting. So, Cancer, someone's trying to steal an Ace of Cups opportunity or just an opportunity in general. An Ace of Cups could also just be something that like you have a lot of love for, but it definitely feels like a stealing, a taking of an opportunity, snatching it up. Or trying to steal someone's heart and then there's a full stop a full stop here almost like an interruption you're gonna catch them in the act an interruption i don't know what the hell's going on here cancer uh pleasing forth messages of truth healing and love whoa four of wands aries energy i feel like this gets interrupted I feel like this gets interrupted. Cancer, if you or someone you're connected to is like trying to steal someone's heart to, you know, be in a relationship, there, it's, there's a death card before that, okay? And I do feel like it's an actual interruption of sorts here, okay? Four Wands could also be just like a foundation, right? Something that you're building for yourself. Whoever is the pirate, <laughs> so weird. Whoever's the pirate here stealing this opportunity, stealing this cup of love, stealing this person, they're gonna get interrupted. Whoa, lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, there's going to be a major interruption here. Oh, with, <clears throat> with the four of wands and the lovers in reverse. Um, whatever this thievery is, it's like, yeah, I almost feel like there's like two claims, like two stakes on it. Two stakes on it. And it's like, whoever feels yeah, that that's what it is. Whoever feels like they're getting taken from, they're interrupting it. They're interrupting it. Let's see what we got here. Oh my, wow. Strength in reverse, Leo energy. The world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Jules, Capricorn. Oh my God, my throat chakra. Some truth is about to be spilled, guys, <laughs> during this interaction here. Um, <clears throat> this, ener this energy is strength in reverse. I'm getting a lack of courage here. Definitely a lack of courage, a lack of courage, but it's coming to an end. And then we have the Hierophant with the devil. Oh. Hierophant with the devil. Taurian energy and then the devil is Capricorn energy here. This is like a toxic commitment. Okay, this is like, this is crazy, Cancer. There's a lot going on here. So we've got a pirate of sorts trying to steal an ace of cups, steal someone's opportunity, steal someone's heart. They get interrupted. They get very, very much interrupted here. But at the same time, there seems to be a toxic, a toxic commitment here. A toxic commitment here that needs to end, but someone was lacking the courage until now. Cancer, 
I don't want to do a telenovela reading. <laughs> I don't they they're exhausting. What are you getting yourself into? They're exhausting. Okay. So this toxic relationship, someone has now mustered up the courage to put this to an end. They didn't have that courage up until now to end this. Um e oh, okay, I see. I see. I see. <sighs> Cancer. So with whatever's ending here, I do feel that this there's an angry party in the midst of this, in this toxic. Uh, commitment that is coming to an end because someone now grew the cojones uh, to, to end it here um, and this this angry party who feels like something's getting taken from them an ace of cups opportunity what have you a person most likely a person is now trying to interrupt this trying to put a stop to this I know telenovela cancer okay <laughs> okie dokie let's go ahead keep in mind hair font with the devil that could definitely be some magic in the midst of this, okay? Because I do feel heavy manipulation with this. Not just toxicity, but heavy, heavy manipulation. Hierophant is spirituality. It's also a high priest. But with the devil, though, someone could have been trying to keep this toxic connection going. Yeah, someone could have been using magic to keep this toxic connection uh, going on here. But someone finally just messed up the courage to be like, oh, no, no, I need to end this. I need to get out of this ending this getting out of this all the while it's like i think that person might have just gone off elsewhere um and it doesn't even have to be to another person it feels like it though it doesn't have to be to another person it could just be like going off into another opportunity and then this person who was part of this toxic situation trying to put a stop to that trying to put a stop to that oh geez cancer okay let's go ahead and get into this reading uh for those who are new to my channel new to tarot please understand these messages are very very general messages come through for those who need to hear them so if it's not for you it's not for you and that's okay all right um keep in mind we are working with energy so messages can be reversed or vice versa as i said earlier and don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy i wish i didn't bite my tongue it's hurting every time i talk <laughs> ow any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for cancer regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for cancer regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Spirit, am I taking these? Oh, they said hard yes. All right, let's see what we have here. We have Judgment in Reverse, Fire Energy, also Scorpionic Energy for me as a reader. Oh, we got a King of Wands in Reverse, Leo Energy, could also be Fire or Air. Oh, my. With the Empress... Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the page of wands and the three of swords, Libra energy here. Ooh. Is this empress getting the news or giving the news? Getting the news, getting the news. This empress is getting news of something, wind of something, and it's very painful. It's very painful. But before this empress gets the news, we have this judgment in verse with the king of wands in verse. King of wands in verse is a very non-committal energy. It's someone who's all, who is also unpredictable or quick to anger. Judgment in reverse. Karma's not on their side here. Spirit's also not on their side. Um, mm, ew. This king of wands might be the pirate here. I'm just saying. Might be the pirate. Might be the hijacker. But this this person this person has done something recently, and it feels it feels wrong it feels wrong and this empress is getting word of that this empress empress is getting word of that now i can't speak because my tongue is, is not happy let's see what else we have king of wands in verse is also a player energy a player card i don't know why they felt i don't know why i felt the need to point that out that might be that might be what's going on here that might be what's going on here this king of wands might be not not committal to this empress energy and so this empress might feel like oh i'm about to lose something that i'm entitled to that could definitely be the energy here Let's see what else we have any other messages for cancer regarding love october 12th to the Ooh. six nine <laughs> nine of pentacles in reverse virgo energy Ooh, ooh. i feel a lot of instability with this 
Could also be some financial trouble. Someone could be stealing. So honestly, someone could be stealing money. Someone could literally be pirating money, stealing money here. But I just feel a lot of instability with that. A lot of like lack of confidence. Unsure. Unsure. Unsure of what's about to happen. Unsure if things can be okay. That kind of, it's almost a little panicky. It almost feels a little like Nine of Swords. A little panicky here. Let's see what else we have. Any other messages for Cancer? Woo! Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy. Could also be air or water. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I, I see exactly what's going on here. So we've got a non-committal energy over here. We have a Queen of Swords energy over here, freaking out a little bit. Feeling like, like the floor is like rocking, like they might as well be experiencing a constant earthquake. And then we have an Empress right here in the middle, receiving news about something, could be receiving news about a third party situation. I do feel three energies here. I hate calling out third parties. It happens way more often than it should. The stats are actually really sad. If you've ever like looked up the stats on people who have like multiple people even if they're in like marriages and stuff i forget what it is but it's like for men and women just like it as like genders if you just look at the gender uh it's more than 50 percent for both for both like it's kind of anyway not going down that rabbit hole any other messages for cancer any other messages for cancer any other messages for cancer regarding love October 12th to the 21st. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, not surprised. Ten of Wands, Sag energy, burdens. Burdens and stress and closing of a cycle. A cycle's about to end here. A cycle's about to end here, and I did just hear with truth. With truth. A cycle's ending with, with the truth being spoken. The truth being known. The truth being known. I definitely see three different energies here. I mean, it's crazy. And they're all very segregated. They're all very, very segregated here, okay? I do feel like this Queen of Swords is really pissed off. But I feel like it's because they're panicking. I feel like it's out of panic. It's out of panic. Like this Queen of Swords, it's almost like I worked so hard to get to the nine. And now the floor is falling up beneath me, falling up beneath me, falling up beneath me. Yeah, this Queen of Swords feels very, very pissed off here. On the other end, we literally have like these energies are so separated. Then we have a King of Wands over here who's not very committal, also not very grounded in their own energy, also not very sure-footed, very impulsive. This person's acting very impulsively. I feel a big weight on this person. A big weight. Feels like stress. Feels like stress. Is it guilt? No, it's stress. It's stress, it's stress, it's stress. I feel like they're really being encouraged by spirit to make a move. They feel they feel a pressure to make a move here. They feel pressure to make a move. With Judgment Reverse, I do feel it is kind of like a removal or a closing out of something. And it might most likely be with this Queen of Swords. All the while, the Empress is getting word of this. Word of a third party situation. And it's painful. Whatever they're hearing, it's painful. Cancer. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's look at Judgment Reverse. Oh, my God. Uh, let's do Gilded with this one. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Oh, I bit my tongue really good. Okay. Tell me about Judgment in Reverse for Cancer. I also feel resistance. I feel a lot of resistance here. I feel like the anger is building. It's building, it's building, it's building, it's building. I feel like this Empress is actually getting caught in the middle. Yeah, this Empress is getting caught in the middle of these two. Cancer, so decide who you are. Most likely you're the person right in the middle who's getting word of all of this and you're just like, what the? <laughs> it's stressing you out and it's also painful but at the same time you're like monkey in the middle between these two you're cut right in the middle here tell me about judgment in reverse for cancer regarding love october 12th to the 21st tell me about judgment in reverse for cancer regarding love october 12th to the 21st tell me about judgment in reverse for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time about judgment in reverse. For Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time about judgment in reverse attached to this King of Wands. Time about judgment in reverse for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Wow, this just confirms everything. The Fool, 
Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's the Uranus card with the Ace of Wands. Passionately wanting something brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. A brand new opportunity. That's what this person wants. Four of Wands at the bottom. Four of Wands at the bottom here. This King of Wands. Is it a single energy? This King of Wands might just want to be single, but I really feel like it's taking a shot at a passion at the beginning here. I feel a lot of sacral energy with this person. Uh... Yeah, really wanting to leap, really wanting to jump. This person this person is freaking out. I can't stop looking at this person. They're freaking out. They might also be very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know when you're really upset and it's like you just can't help but be, not dramatic, I don't like that word, but vocal. We'll use the word vocal, okay? This person can't help but be vocal because they're so upset. Almost like, well, what am I going to do? Well, what about me? What about me? What about me? Tell me about judgment in reverse. God, this poor empress, I don't even think it's saying anything. <laughs> Tell me about judgment in reverse for cancer. Oh, God, cancer. I hope you're the empress because the empress is the only one who's upright, who's kind of grounded here. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Either way, it kind of seems like a shit cake, no matter which way you cut it. Tell me about judgment in reverse for cancer. Tell me about judgment in reverse for cancer. To come out. King of Wands. Can't even make this shit up. Leo energy could also be air or fire here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, this this king wants to break away. This king wants to break away from their current situation. They want brand spanking new and they are fired up to go and get it. Very fired up to go and get it. So I have a judgment in reverse for cancer regarding love. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or a uh, fire here. It, this could also be a career move. Does, again, doesn't have to be a relationship. Feels like it though. <laughs> Definitely feels like a typical third party situation. Or I guess a little a little more hyped up and amped up. And I, guys, I don't condone cheating. You guys know me. I don't condone cheating and all that other stuff. Uh, this just seems like a very stress. I can feel the stress of this Ten of Wands. I can feel the stress of it. I feel the panic. I feel the anxiety from this person. I feel the weight of the burden on this person. And this poor empress is just like paralyzed. This is not a good situation for anybody. God, I really hope this doesn't resonate with too many people because this is really crappy. Um, but yeah, this king, wherever it is they want to go, whatever it is they want, it is in the form of pentacles. It is in the form of their stability. They want to build. They want to build something. Whatever that is, it's, requir it's requiring building and they're very fired up to go and do it. So I want judgment in reverse for cancer. Regarding love, overall energy, <laughs> judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Well, even spirit is kind of like, that's what should be done. Wow. Yeah, even, sp that. okay. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I was like, guilt, no, not guilt. I feel guilt with this now. I, I think this king doesn't want to admit they feel guilty, but this king feels guilty. But at the same time, it's like whatever this new beginning is, spirit is giving this king the heads up, like, or thumbs up, like, yeah, this is exactly what you need to be doing here. Wow. Okay. Now, I want to get to the Empress last, because this poor Empress just feels, like I said, feels like paralyzed in this whole situation, like stunned. Yeah. This person's panicked and anxiety ridden. This king feels guilty and feels a heavy ass burden with this and the stress of it. And this poor Empress is just freaking paralyzed and stunned. Okay. All right. So let's look over here. Let's look at the nine of pentacles in a verse attached to this queen. God, I feel for this queen. Um, let's go for this one. I almost want to put an ice cube in my mouth. I have the nine of pentacles in a verse for cancer regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. So I have a Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. So I have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What the? Oh, I was like, why do I feel like someone's breathing on my leg? <laughs> I was shuffling the cards with such ver like veracity. Is that, is that the right word? That it's like the air from it was like hitting my leg. Oh, Ace of Cups at the bottom. Oh, shit. <sighs> Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. 
Come with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. For Cancer, regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Come with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse attached to the Queen of Swords, please. Time with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Time of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Time of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. We do have a true pair here, the King and the Queen of Wands. Let's see if we can find out more. Oh, did I get a faker? Hey. Ace of Wands. Oh, this sucks. I'm sorry, Cancer. I know this is a tough read. I might put a warning on the title here. Um, yeah, this queen is, is feeling really shaky and unstable because they know with the queen of wands and the ace of wands that this king is, it's, it's the same wand. Hold on. It's the same wand. It's the same wand here. There's a shared beginning happening between this king and this queen and this queen. Between this king and queen of wands, I do feel like the queen of wands is also acting as the empress here. Um, it's something that, it's just like a moth to a frick, two moths to a freaking flame. Look at that. Look at that. They're both looking at it too. The queen from this deck and the king from this deck are both looking at the same opportunity. And this queen of swords is just like panicking and freaking out because they know that something's coming to an end here. They know, oh. Mm. <laughs> Camera's really freaking out. Um, they know this king is about to take on a whole new opportunity elsewhere away from this queen of swords and it's going to be with the queen of wands slash empress. We're going to get more cards to clarify, but it seems pretty clear cut to me. Some of the nine of pentacles in reverse, this queen of swords feels like their stability has been threatened. They might've depended on this king financially, might've depended on this king financially. Some of the nine of pentacles in reverse. Some of the nine of pentacles in reverse. Time of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The sun, Leo energy. So not only is this a very much a shared opportunity with the same wand here between this king and this queen, but... That sun right in the middle, that's a lot of joy. That's a lot of joy. This is all fire. This is literally all fire between these two people. This is a new beginning that's forging between these two people away from this Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords just has to sit back and watch. This sucks. Hold on. Okay. Overall energy. Page of Swords in reverse. Lies. Lies. This Queen, Queen of Swords feels lied to. Underneath that, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, there was a lot of drama here between this King of Wands and this Queen of Swords. Hold on, I know, I'm talking a lot. Hold on. There was a lot of uh, really horrible fighting is what I'm getting. Really bad fighting, really cutting communication. And this Queen of Swords feels lied to by this King. And maybe they were. I'm. I, it kind of seems like it because it seems like this King's going off with someone else entirely. Jesus. Okay. Let's move on to this Empress who just feels stunned. <laughs> who just feels stunned in this whole situation. Um, let's look at this page of wands and see how they're getting the news here. Um, let's do right or wait. So I'm at the page of wands. So I'm at the page of wands. Time of the Page of Wands for Cancer regarding love. A lot of fire for a Cancer reading. Time of the Page of Wands for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Time of the Page of Wands for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, it's a very stressful situation for ev everyone involved. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's true. This is a very stressful ass situation. Time about the Page of Wands. I don't like seeing stuff like this. Time about the Page of Wands for Cancer. Oh my. Wow. 
<sighs> Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Uh, so this Empress is getting news of this. With Knight of Cups in reverse, this is my inappropriate lover card, okay? So that means, like, definitely a situation like this where love is being given or not given very inappropriately whatever whatever you want to describe as inappropriate ways of loving someone or not loving someone this is that card here this empress is getting word of that this empress is getting word of that and it's hitting them emotionally i do feel that there's love here though this empress has love and compassion i actually i feel like this empress has love and compassion for everybody involved especially like with this queen of cups energy with this card from this deck look at the way she's looking at that cup just like oh god <laughs> oh god <laughs> like what a pickle what a what a what a shit cake what a shit cake i just heard why did you do this why did you do this yeah, this Empress is like, this Empress is not happy to get this news, like, at all whatsoever. It's like, it's almost making the Empress's heart hurt. Because an Empress usually has a lot of compassion, you know? Usually has a lot of compassion. Plus, the Empress has usually been where, where all their other queens have been. They've been where this Queen of Swords has been. They know what it feels like. And they're just kind of like, why did you do this? Tell me about the Page of Wands. And Cancer, like I said, I do feel like you're the Empress here. Keep in mind, you could be any of anyone in this situation. Tell me more about the Page of Wands for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Almost like, why did you put me in this position? Tell me about the Page of Wands for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Cancer regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Cancer Overall energy, wow. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Underneath that, we do have the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Underneath that, we do have strength in reverse. Uh, Leo energy here. A lot of Leo energy with these two cards. They're looking at this King, which again, it's like these two are very much a true pair situation. The King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Wands. And again, this this Queen of Swords is on the out here, just like feeling like they're losing everything. God, this is really depressing. Um, they're getting this Empress is getting this news from this King, and they're just they're really disappointed. Oh my God! Like this is gonna sound really harsh, Kings who are watching. I'm sorry, I'm just the messenger here. They're looking at this King like there were so many other ways you could have do could have done this. They almost look at this King like, God, it sounds so harsh. I don't even want to say it. Uh, like. You're a coward to do it this way. <sighs> this seems like a lose-lose-lose situation, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it had to end. Clearly, overall energy, Ten of Wands, remember? This this clearly had to come to a head. Clearly. Even Spirit was like, yeah, make it stop. <laughs> Spirit's like, make it stop. We don't want to see this shit anymore. Make it stop. Yeah, this, this Empress is looking at this king... Like, you were a coward to do it this way. This does not make me happy whatsoever. This doesn't make me happy. I'm feeling for everyone involved. Why did you do it this way? Why did you do it this way? Oh, my God. No wonder they're in a three of swords. No wonder the Empress is going to be in a three of swords energy. Not only is it a third party situation, but this Queen's also, this Empress is also hurting for this Queen of Swords and this King and for themselves. Oh. Well, okay. This is a very funky situation. Where are we at? 33 minutes? I'm gonna see how the energies are aligning and then we'll pull some we'll pull some oracle cards, okay? Using the legacy deck here. How will the energies be aligning from this situation? How will these energies be aligning from this situation in the near future? How will the energies be aligning in this situation in the near future? I would watch out for this queen, guys. Like Whoever this queen is, I, I'd, I'd watch out for her, that, that queen of swords. I mean, she's she's pissed. She's pissed, and she's pissed out of panic and desperation. That's what happens, guys. Like, people who freak out, it's out of desperation. That knight of swords in verse, page of swords in verse, there, were, there was already bad fighting going on between this queen of swords and this king of wands. There's already really a lot of drama, a lot of lies, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of cutting remarks. But now this queen of swords is, is in panic mode because they feel like they're losing their stability. 
when you feel like you're losing your stability, you go to a place of desperation. It's just a word. Can't hate the word. It's just a word and it's true. And when people feel backed into a corner, they go to extreme measures to start to get stability back. And I saw that rabbit dog. I'm just saying. Show me how the energies will be aligning in the future from this situation. Yeah, I need to put a warning on this last one. Show me how the energies will be aligning in the situation in the near future. How will the energies be aligning in the situation in the near future? Page of coins, a new perspective. I like that. That's promising. A new perspective, stability, and growth. Opportunity for, for more growth and stability. Okay, that's good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. How will the energies be aligning from the situation in the near future? How will the energies be aligning from the situation in the near future? Oh, that's too many. How will the energies be aligning in the situation in the near future? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, interesting. A little vague, but okay. Ace of Cups in reverse with Temperance, Sagittarian energy. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. And then we have the Devil here, Capricorn energy. It seems like there's still going to be a lot of like rebalancing of the situation here. A lot of rebalancing, but it's going to be done through taking on a new perspective and a new approach in the situation. So it kind of seems like after this King approaches the Empress about all of this, the Empress is just like, how could you do it this way? You should have you should have done something else. <laughs> you should have done it another way. You should have done this another way. This doesn't make me happy. Now I feel for everyone involved. It's going to take a new way of looking at things, a new way of looking at this opportunity. And there will be balance here. The only thing I'm worried about is that the two of swords with the devil, it feels like obsession about it might cause a little bit of a stalemate. But with temperance, that's trying to level that out. So it, it seems like having a new perspective on this Will be beneficial but it's going to take a while for things to find an equilibrium here for everyone involved let's see here hangman in reverse piscean energy with the two of wands aries energy so having a light bulb moment of what to do about the situation and which which path to take but it is a new path it's a new path that's why it's going to require a new way of thinking and a new perspective you know and that's the thing too guys who was i who who said this earlier Oh, that's what it was. So this morning when I was at the gym, Empress of Duality did a live video. You guys should check it out. She did it today. Uh, what's today? The 9th. <laughs> so was today. Um, October 9th. And she was saying this, and it's very, very true. I think it's in her... What's the title of it? Oh, shoot. can't believe I can't remember the title of it. Um, Divine Masculine. Fears. Oh, shoot. I can't believe I can't remember the name of it. I might even link it below for you guys, but she said something uh, that is very, very true where it's like, if you can change the way you look at something or the way that you label something, that completely changes the energy in the situation. And that's exactly what needs to happen here to figure out how to, how to approach this in a new way, okay? Or how to take on the new path. How will the energies be aligning in this situation in the near future? How will the energies be aligning in the situation in the near future? Overall energy, moon in reverse, Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Ooh, with the Empress in reverse, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy, recognizing that this situation can't grow unless a new approach is taken on. The situation can't grow unless a new situation is taken on. Also that the Empress is not happy to be giving in this situation. The Empress isn't happy with how this is going down. Okay. And I don't think it's gone down this way yet, but Kings, if you're watching, Please take on a new approach if you can, as a warning, as a cautionary tale, okay? Because this empress is not happy. Not happy. And I also like this empress doesn't even want to give to the situation because of how upsetting it is to the empress for this queen of swords and for the, like, for everyone involved. For everyone involved. Wow. Actually, that's very empress-like, if you think about it. Very empress-like. Because the empress has been through it, so they know. They know an empress. Would, yeah, I don't think an empress would go for this opportunity in this fashion, in this way, with the way it's going down. Let's get some advice. Actually, no, we're going to do soul's journey first. You guys are getting a long read. You guys are getting a lot of advice here because <laughs> it's shitty for everybody in this. Anything you want my Cancerians to know regarding this spread? Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, sorry guys. Okay. Ugh. Anything on my cancerians to know regarding this spread? God, but like this empress and this king both clearly want it. There's they're like literally two moths cut from the same cloth, a true pair of moths seeing the same big ass flame with the sun in the middle. It's like that's pretty that's pretty undeniable here. Anything on my cancerians to take away from the spread here? Anything on my cancerians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything on my cancerians to be aware of regarding this spread? Ooh, pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone here. You know, with pride, I get a little bit of that ego and I do feel like it's coming from the king here to like, you know, with the way that this king is going about it. As the energy stands now, with the way this king is going about it here, um, there's a little bit of ego pushing this king in the way that they're going about this. The drama. The drama this king of wands has with this queen of swords. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like what I'm picking up here. Okay. Kings, if you're listening and this resonates with you, you're fighting a lot with this Queen of Swords. A lot. There's even some lies going on, some cutting words, some insults. But I also have a little bit of accusation too. And it's almost like, um, how do I say this? You're so tired of it that it's almost like if I'm getting this much shit for it, uh... I might as well be actually be, be guilty. Like I might as well be guilty. Like <laughs> going for what I really want will be a lot less grief and, and, and irritation because at least I'll actually be doing what I want and getting all the grief anyway. Does that make sense? I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase this. Cause this person's obviously fighting a lot with you, this queen of swords, giving a lot of grief, giving a lot of shit. And you guys are doing it to each other. It's it's mutual. Both of you are doing it to each other. And you're just kind of like, well, I know what I really want. This Queen of Wands with Ace of Wands. I know what I really want. So I might as well get what I want and get all this grief at the same time instead of just getting the grief and nothing. A little bit of pride there. So be mindful of that, okay? Ooh, worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change. Someone just touched my head. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like it might have been one of you. It's like someone definitely just touched my head. Uh, worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I feel like it's for my Queen of Swords here. I feel like it was definitely for my Queen of Swords because they're panicking and they're freaking out. And I feel like that worry is going to turn into anxiety and panic and feeling backed into a corner and they're going to lash out here or try to lash out. Queen of Swords, try not to. Try not to, okay? I know it's hard. I mean, God, I know it's hard, but try not to. Got another one here discipline mm. i can accomplish what i set up my mind to kings don't make this decision from a prideful place from a spiteful place make it from a place of discipline of like okay if i really want this empress i'm going to close things out with this queen properly properly and do things in the right way do things in the way they should properly be done this poor empress like i said is just mostly sitting there not saying a damn thing mostly Anything else that my Cancerians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything else that my Cancerians to be aware of regarding this spread? Overall, well, I kind of like this happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. This is for everybody. This is for everybody involved, okay? <clears throat> I've talked about this before in videos. When we are actually happy with where we are, we're in the right place. If we're doing something and we're like, <laughs> we're worried, we're, e we're in our egos, we're fighting, we're burdened, we're stressed, we're anxiety ridden, we're not on the right path. The Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, y'all are fighting a lot. That's not indicative of being on the right path because there's not a whole lot of happiness that can be had there. And I do think that this Queen of Swords can be happier elsewhere if this has ended in the right way. Okay, and with the Empress, with the way things are happening as the energy stands now, that's that's why this Empress is like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is too stressful and this is too painful and that is not my happy place. That means I'm not on the right path if I'm going to do this. 
It's so, so simple, guys. You know, people, I get questions like that all the time. How do I know I'm doing the right thing? How do I know I'm actually on the right path? Are you happy about it? Does it bring you joy? Do you have joy? Do you have warmth in your life? Do you have warmth in your heart? Do you smile? Do you laugh? Like, if you if you are, then you're then you're doing the right thing. Even if it's a hard decision to get there, it's the right thing because it's going to give you that energy, right? Wow. All right. So let's get some advice and we'll wrap this up. I think I will have to stitch these, but oh well. Is it kind of dark? It's a little dark, huh? Hold on. I guess the sun went down. Okay. Light. <laughs> okay. Advice. Any advice for my Cancerians regarding this spread? 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 There we go. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, nice. B spirit. Sweet, sweet. Sweet results await. Energy of seven. So being on the right path. Okay, kings, to make this. <laughs> so being on the right path. Kings, it's okay to make this choice, right? To to be with this empress and to close up some stuff with this queen. Just do it the right way. Do it the right way and, and, it'll, pay, and it'll pay off. Okay, have the discipline. <laughs> have the discipline to do things in the right way in the right time. And you'll be, and you'll find your happiness here with your, with your empress and there'll be abundance and there'll be happiness. And then this queen of swords can also find their happiness too, in a place where they can be appreciated, right? Any other advice from my Cancerians regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, 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 oh boy. Coyote spirit, trust and divine detours. 16 breaking down to a seven. That's the second seven you guys have here. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an eight. This is my blueprint card. Coyotes are the tricksters here. It's a trickster animal totem. They, they know the blueprints. They know the grand designs. They know the blueprint. So it's only natural they come out next to it. They throw the curveballs to keep you on your path to lead you to success. And then we have moth spirit. Surrender now. 39 breaking down to a three. This is basically spirit saying surrender to your path. Surrender to your path. I do feel like this is also, uh, mostly for the king and the queen of swords. I don't feel like this is for the empress. I feel like this is for the king of wands and the queen of swords. The curveball is definitely for the queen of swords. The king has been thinking about this for a while. But the koala spirit's here to say that it's supposed to happen. Just surrender to it which is acceptance. Surrender is to not try to control shit, not try to manipulate anybody. And like I said, I was picking up on that a little bit in the pre-shuffle with the hair font and the devil. Might be some magic involved in this for some of you. If there is, it's most likely coming from this queen of swords energy, okay? Either way, accept what is happening, accept the curveballs in life, the ebb and flow in life, because at the end of the day, we don't really have a whole lot of control over a lot of things. And with the blueprint card here, it's supposed to happen. So don't resist it. Don't resist what needs to be done. Ooh, don't resist what needs to be done. Just make sure you do it in the right way. I just heard graceful exit. Yeah. Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Nice. Any other advice? Oh, okay. Three more cards. God, can't you guys got a lot of advice. All right. So we have three other cards that came out here. Giraffe spirit. See the big picture. 29 breaking down to an 11, which is a master number. This is looking at, at how everyone is affected and how everything fits together and making the disciplined action accordingly to get things going to where you want. Kings, 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 kings. And then this is really interesting to me. 
We have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two and flamingo spirit embracing in between. 26 breaking down to an eight. Um, flamingo spirit's a transitional energy. It's literally like my midpoint card. So being in between point A and point B, right? Being smack dab in the middle and acclimating. Dolphin spirit is balance. It's very Gemini actually, because it's like, it's a duality card. It's the good and the bad, the light and the dark, the masculine, and the feminine, and really kind of owning that energy and finding, yeah, finding an equilibrium. <sighs> Empress and King of Wands. Like I said, as the energy stands now, if the, if this approach is not changed, it's going to take a while to find your ground, your, your footing with each other. It's going to take a while, mostly because this Empress has a bad taste in her mouth from this news and from what has transpired. And I feel like this Empress is going to have a hard time trusting this King of Wands here with how the energy stands now, with how the King will be approaching this. And it will take some time for a balance to happen between the two. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Overall, we have Dog Spirit. I like it. Be loyal to what you love. 19 is cyclical energy. So closing cycles and opening cycles here. I love this energy because it is all about loyalty. It's all, it's very Leo, even though it's a dog. It's very, very Leo, actually, which we have a lot in this reading. Um, being loyal to where happiness lies. Being loyal to where happiness lies. I think this Empress makes this king really happy. But at the same time, this Queen of Swords, it would just have become tumultuous and toxic. Can't have a whole lot of happiness in a toxic situation. And it's really about following your happiness. It's it's so easy, guys. It's so easy. When you follow your happiness, like where you just are always happy and you don't go into situations that like kind of make you uncomfortable or kind of make you feel a certain way. If you just always follow things that make you happy, you'll always be on the right way and you'll always be on the right path. Yeah, it, it's so simple. Underneath that, we do have crow spirit co-create with spirit 17 breaking down to an eight so success is ahead here this is also working with spirit and divine timing and listening to your intuition here this goes for everybody especially the kings this goes for everybody um i feel like this king of wands and this queen of swords is, was kind of stuck in we're kind of stuck in this for a little longer than they probably should have just listen to your intuition because spirit's trying to get this shit wrapped up because spirit is like i can't watch anymore <laughs> Okay, even spirits like don't don't make us watch don't don't make us watch this train wreck. Just wrap it up, wrap it up. Just do it in a nice wrap up. Okay, just do it right. <laughs> just do it right. Okay, guys, I hope this. I can't even say it's enjoyable because this was a sh this literally was a shit cake. Through cut three ways. Okay, but I do hope it was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Cancers. Namaste.